Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, I will take free stuff from here. Sure. Um, <laughs> I've just been working on grinding for equipment and grinding for materials uh, to get burgers made for all of the other hermits. Um, just kind of plucking away at things. But it's been going well. I am planning to run a super ridiculous living chest vault. Uh, but I am waiting for some of the other hermits to be online. Right now I'm the only one. Uh, I'm going to wait for some of the other hermits to be online because really to get a lot of value out of those, you want to have multiple people running them so you can collect, you know, three times as many resources because you have three people collecting things. So... Uh, that's the plan for the episode. I did do something here. Uh, over here, I've just got a little setup where uh, I can auto-recycle uh, gear. I can throw things into this chest, or any of these four chests right here, and then I can pull them out of the uh, chests with these pipes from Mechanism, uh, and then they will go into the recycler, and oop, and the results will pop out and end up over here. So works out pretty well. It's just a quick way to dispose of all the extra vault armor that I'm never going to use. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's jump into the living chest vault. Did I not take the curse off? Oh, oh no. no. Rip. Oh, we forgot to take the Turk. Well, slowed isn't as bad as, as if it was mining fatigue, we'd be done. So, yeah, except oh, it's I'm slowed sorry, tier two for oh, me. I, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm still moving. I'm going. That means it's fine. Plus two slowness. We're, oh, did well, you run off already? Works. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, the dash timer starts. Okay. Yeah, we should have. Sorry, it's not no. wasting any time. Do you guys have about? <laughs> yeah. Do you have? Did you guys start with thirty-one thirty for your? Uh... Yeah, we did. Okay, good. So that's good to know because that's what I started with as well, which is the normal amount. Uh, we should all go different directions. Oh, we're so okay. slow. Um, I had a uh, an ore when I ran that I ran a uh, a void uh, thing earlier looking for echo gems because I need like oh yeah a handful more echo gems to make a really good paxel. Um, and I got the Chris uh, so I put a whole bunch of mining, you know whatever the one is that's like plus twenty percent ores or whatever. Yeah. I put a bunch of those on there. I got it up to ninety five percent before it finally locked on me. Oh nice. It's like that's pretty good. How many echoes did you end up getting? Uh, about two stacks worth. Oh, nice. So not not like insane, but enough to do uh, enough to make one of the two tools I wanted. Yeah, I changed up my build recently, and oh, yeah. uh, I got the mana shield on it now. Nice. Oh. Nothing like a little immortality. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's some living chests. Yeah, the first one of these I ran, although it was ornate chest, not living chest, but the first one of these I ran, I did not find nearly as many ornate chests as I was hoping to. He uh, he fixed that recently, too. There was like a cascading. Oh. That was giving us more. Oh, really? I wonder if uh, it yeah. was before that ha that glitch was fixed then. I mean, I did one this morning, and I feel like I got ten times as many with only a few more catalysts. So, yeah, like, he this fixed is it a really few days sparse. ago. So, you you can still get a lot, but yeah, I think we just didn't have enough on there. How close to a uh, hundred are you? How fu how full is the uh, the bar? Halfway. I think I can make it on the stream tonight. Yeah, that's like two stacks of burgers, basically. That's pretty good. I think we're going to get like everyone to 100. Then. We'll get pretty close. If we don't all get there. Wow. We still got like 20 minutes left. Nice. Yeah, I was like shocked. I looked, I was like, I feel like we've been in here a while. Nope. Yeah, Ooh. relics make a difference for sure. Well, I think we started with 31 minutes or something. Yeah, we were at 31. Yeah, 31 30. Do you have all the relics, Joe? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, because I know I've got extras of a lot of them. Uh, What direction did the vault open? 
We were going north out of the portal. Okay. I don't think we're going to have any issues completing this, but... Well, it depends on, like, I'm not getting great elixir from living chests or from killing monsters. Oh, so really? I'm... That was one of the other reasons I was like, oh, let me hit some more Nate chests up real quick, just in case. Oh, I'm at, work. like, 95% full at the moment. Oh, wow. That's nice. And once I complete, then the rest of you will yeah. start getting oh, that's tons true. of experience yeah, yeah. from it, too. Or elixir from it as well, so should be, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that's a good, good plan, then. Like, I'm not getting a ton from Alexer, but or from living, but I'm getting enough. Or maybe it's mobs, I don't know. I just let enemies run into me. They destroy themselves. Are you still doing thorns? No, I'm rolling, uh, I mean, kind of. I'm rolling Smite Archon. Um, oh, okay. And it melts things. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Like, I just let entire swarm... I'm, I'm kind of doing the same thing you are, where you just have a ridiculous amount of mana. And mm -hmm. mana regen. Um, so I can have it up at all times, and I can basically burn through a whole swarm without running out of mana. And they die super quick. Yeah. Hey, look at chests. Look at that. I'm taking it. You got the mana on your potion, too? Yep. Yeah, I think that's just... Standard. Like, yeah. I, like, I'm not going to say mean, it's the best one, but... Yeah, obviously Mega Jump 5 on the potion is the best one. There's a reason you have to <laughs> unlock it in the, uh, in the thing there. Do you actually have that, Joe? No. I've got mana on the potion. Cause I, I've got way better than Mega Jump 5 on my yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. But you could cast it so much more often. You could you could mega jump in the middle of your mega jump, probably. Yeah, no, I could actually chain mega jumps. I could probably get, you know, 80 feet in the air or 80 blocks in the air at that point. Like, my thinking is I'm mostly going to the potion when I need to restore my other resources. Mm -hmm. And, like, those resources are mana and uh, HP, so... Because if I'm only running low on HP, then I, like, I could just pop heal. Yeah. So, yeah, I think mana is by far the uh, most useful one. Do you guys get credit for pylons? Like, if I pop a regeneration pylon, do you all get regeneration for two minutes? No, no I just, think it's just uh, me. Or just, just you. Player. Just whoever does it. Just the person who pops it. Okay. going to say, because if I find well, like, a time pylon... The time one does affect the whole vault. The time the time one does. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I did something right. I got to consume a lodestone. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, I've got... Oh, you know what it probably is? Is me giving oh, my... you overdid it. ...living yeah. chest experience, because I've had it up for, like, quite a while now. Oh... It's an impossible hoglin dungeon, but oh, I was like, yeah. I wonder how good my gear is. Let me just yeah, that's, try that's the time this to test while it. I'm slowed. Okay. You will find your limits out pretty quick that way. Yeah, at the same time, there's a lot of those um, craftable additions to things that I still really need. That I definitely don't have. Yeah, there's a few that I'm missing that I really want as well, but... They take a long time to farm them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, just because there's so many, and when you get one, you don't get it for, like, all pieces of gear that can use it. You get it for yeah. one piece, and it's like, uh, okay. And some things have, like, five tiers, and <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's a journey. Journey is one way to put it. Well, I tell you, after this vault, it's going to feel really good when we can move normal again. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Oof, this is this is hurting. I am not looking forward to going back to vanilla though. Where, <laughs> <laughs> where everything's gonna seem just like so slow. <laughs> I'll just ride a horse everywhere. Yeah, but like mining speed and stuff too. Like everything's oh, gonna true. seem like it's gonna be like it's happening at a snail's pace. I think the dash and the like dragging the cursor is the main thing that sticks with me. Yeah, well, the drag and the cursor that you can do, like that's just a that's mouse tweaks. That's a client side mod that doesn't change anything. Yeah, I use that. I use that one even when I play vanilla. Just to its quality of life stuff. Although I don't think the catalysts actually affect dungeon loot, do they? Uh... Nope. Yeah, that's what okay. I thought. I mean, I'm. The problem is I'm spending my mana way quicker because I'm not able to get ahead of the mobs as much. So, you know, it's like my potion is basically almost completely empty at this point. You just need to embrace the uh, intentionally let them run into you strategy, Gio. Yeah. Well, I do have level 8 Smite. I don't have level 8 Archon, though. I've got the uh, more Ar basic one. Archon's the way to go, for sure. Yeah. That Smite through the wall, though, is real nice when uh, you're, like, in a dungeon and just all of a sudden the champion, like, tries to rush you from the other side of the wall and he's just like, nope, one hit killed. All right, 40 seconds. Oh, that's so many chests. Okay, I just found the the mother, mother load. load. Yep. Oh. oh, nice. There we go. If you need that on a uh, focus later. Okay, let me get my uh, lemons out here. Oh, there's still more. I got that first one since I just cleared this dungeon anyway. Still no lodestone. <laughs> well, you better hurry, Wells. You're running out of time. Yeah, this is just my luck. I mean, the good news is, like, if it really comes down to it, you can leave, and I still have a bunch of lemons I can pop if I really need to. I always find the most dangerous rooms at the end. That's how it always goes. <laughs> it's like, oh, do I want to go to a cactus? Kind of. It's like, yeah, you know, I get. Well, the thing is, too, if you got a lodestone nearby, what you do is you hit the lodestone, then you run into the cactus room, and you just kill a bunch of mobs real quick while you're invincible. Except at this point, we have uh, so much slowness that you wouldn't be able to get there in time. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. I keep I keep forgetting that the game is broken. Yep. There, you got time it a little bit bit uh, extra. Yeah, you okay, guys I'm are down to 10 hearts. Pretty low. Come on, game. Just give me a lodestone. Like, <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask. Okay, I'm now literally down to one heart. I'm just going to leave. I have chugged Joe's as many done. of these as I can. But that, I got you up to 77 seconds. All right, fantastic. If I need to pop kiwis. But yeah, if I fall like a block, I will die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out while you can, and be careful on your way out. Yeah, I can lemon you if you need. Yeah, I might need you to. I'm still not having any lodestone luck. I'm not really like taking my time either. I'm basically grabbing living chests, and that's it. The good news is we should have a lot of burger components after this hopefully mm -hmm. i don't know that we're gonna have like four thousand burgers worth but or however many was in the thing uh, yeah i only got 11 burger sauce i don't know it, it, like i just was having terrible luck with the living chests i think rarity does affect those still no luck wells no still no luck still looking Oh, I thought I saw one, but it was an ore. It was a, a purple ore. I saw a little flash of purple, and I got all excited. Okay, I can only eat one more time after this. Okay. All right, that's my last eat. Okay. 
I'm going to hope I find an elixir in the very, very immediate future. And if not, then I guess, you know, I'll just buy my way out, um, so to speak. Hey, there's one. He gets it. All right. Beautiful. Just in time. Just in time. Oh, and then I found the mother load of living chest stuff. All right. Uh, 610 chests looted. 460 of them were living. Wow, you were you were way ahead of me. Yeah, I had 455 living chests looted. 610 wow. total chests looted. That's pretty good. Uh, and we got I got 94 burger sauce. Not quite as much as I was hoping to be honest, but Oh, I just realized oh. we all have oh, magnets no. on. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. Consider anything that you just picked up uh, repayment for burgers uh, or for catalysts. Uh, and uh, I, I would give it stuff. back, but I don't see what it was. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. It's fine. Whatever. All right. Have a good one. Well, that was fun. Yep, it was. Thanks, Wells. Yep. Thanks, uh, you yeah, know. thanks. Absolutely. See you guys later. See you. Bye. Well, my friends, I have been running vaults and uh, having a great time, um, mostly just trying to grind out gear and also burger materials to make lots and lots of burgers uh, for the other hermits. Uh, looks like I have enough here for another stack, uh, but we're closing in on the end date of our 100 days, uh, and I was thinking about it. I think we're going to make use of this Neuralizer. This thing, when we use it, it will reset all of our expertise points. And I think there is some value to be had there because there's a couple of these expertises that I just don't really need anymore. Um, because, I mean, we're, I mean, they're not going to have time to properly make use of them because <laughs> the series is almost over. You know, once 100 days rolls around, the end. Um, or... I just don't need them anymore because I've got the infrastructure now. Like, the Lucky Altar, making crystals free, like, it's nice when it happens, but I have farms for almost all of the necessary uh, materials and stuff now, so I don't really need this either. So, we're going to pop this, and I now should have 20 unspent expertise points. So, there's a few of these that we definitely need. Fortunate, for sure. Fortuitous for uh, finesse, for sure. Uh, infuser, unbreakable, uh, jeweler, I will do, although I may, I, I am planning to make another Paxel. Um, I will have time to do that. So we'll leave this for now. I might, I actually have more neuralizers, so yeah. Um, artisan, I don't think we need, bartering, we don't need, we still have five points to spend. So, why don't we go Mystic? That'll help with making super crystals that have just crazy amounts of uh, modifiers on them. And then... I mean, we could just go back to Divine. I'm kind of leaning towards um, bartering here. Yeah, let's spend our last two points on that. Get a 50% cost reduction on shopping pedestals, because you can get some good stuff from those. Uh, that, you know, you can get, like, Omega gear, you can get uh, treasure room keys, all sorts of good stuff. And uh, being able to get those for essentially half the price, that seems pretty good. So there we go. All 20 of our points spent. We've got uh, Unbreakable, we've got this stuff. Fortunate, I think, is pretty much mandatory. Uh, when you're talking about mining, uh, like, Voltors and stuff. But yeah, I think that is worthwhile. Uh, my current quests, uh, or bounties or whatever, are uh, all Scavenger Vault related, so I'm going to keep running some Scavenger Vaults, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Well, my friends, I have finished another day of grinding vaults and working on gear. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a gear update. So here's what I'm rocking. Uh, at the moment, I've got a vault helmet, 
It's just pretty much armor. The big thing you're going to see is mana regen on a lot of this stuff. Uh, so this is my helmet chest plate, omega chest plate. Pretty good. Also some nice boosts there to uh, item rarity. Uh, you'll also see a few that give me increased ability power, which is nice for my smites as well. And that's kind of what I'm focusing on with all of this armor. Omega Vault leggings. Uh, I'm actually rocking just scrappy boots, but they have legendary mana regen, 148% mana regen, and decent armor and health as well. Uh, then I'm using this wand, but it only has one use left, and you actually burn through the durability on this pretty quick because it has really bad durability. Um, so I probably have like one more vault I can run with this one, and then I'm going to have to replace it with something else, but I'll see what I got. As for my sword, I am rocking an Omega Vault sword that has plus five chaining attack and poison cloud, decent attack damage. Um, I'm trying this out. I don't know if I like it better or worse. I, to be honest, I don't really use my sword all that much. You just kind of run into enemies and let them die. Uh, and then we've got our Echoing Sickle that we recently made. Uh, I don't think I'd made this on camera, but basically it's a new sickle that I really wanted to focus on item quantity and item rarity. Uh, and it's got over 90 mining speed, so I can mine uh, basically uh, wooden chests. I think it's like six ticks or something like that. I, there's a spreadsheet somewhere on the internet that tells you what mining speeds you need to hit certain benchmarks. Um, but yeah, and then this is our Paxel. This is going to have to be replaced pretty soon. I just need a few more Echo Gems. I'm up to 63. I think I need 72 in order to make a new Paxel because you need nine of these Echoing Ingots and each one requires eight Legendary Gems. So I just need like a few more Echo Gems and then I can make a new Paxel. Uh, and it'll be a, an echoing one like this. Um, I found out the hard way that um, I, I actually had enough echo gems. What I didn't realize is this next... Actually, we can just look it up here. This next tier of tools, the highest tier, these prismatic tools, they require uh, omega pogs. And I misread it and thought it was regular pogs. But yeah, omega pogs, you make them with one of each chunk for the unique gems, and each of these chunks is made with cl nine clusters. Each cluster requires uh, eight, <laughs> eight of the ore. So essentially, to make one Omega Pog, you need basically like a stack of... <laughs> <laughs> of the gem, and you need nine Omega Pogs and nine Echoing Ingots uh, for the highest tier of tools. So that's not happening. Uh, I ended up spending a bunch of my Echo Gems, unfortunately, on making a bunch of Echo Pogs that I don't really have a need for. So good job, self. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, though, guys, I think I'm going to call the episode there. I don't know. This might be a little shorter episode. It depends on how much I cut out of that uh, super living chest run. Um, but if it is, that's okay. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.